Stand by A. And roll A. Check in. Phil, Dr. Phil. I'm Dr. Phil. To wed or not to wed? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the heart to marry for love or for status and being false disguised and therefore falsely wed. Truth is revealed here. Thy words are madness. Three months this youth hath tended upon me, but more of that anon. What would my lord but that he may not have, wherein Olivia may seem serviceable? Cesario, you do not keep promise with me. All that glisters is not gold. Madam! Gracious Olivia! What do you say, Cesario? Good my lord! My lord would speak, my duty hushes me. If it be aught to the old tune, my lord, it is as fat and fulsome to mine ear as howling after music. Still so cruel? Ah! Kill her with kindness! Still so constant, lord. What? To perverseness? You uncivil lady, to whose ingrate and unauspicious altars my soul the faithfulest offerings hath breathed out that air devotion tendered. What shall I do? Even what it please, my lord, that shall become him. Tame the shrew! Why should I not, had I the heart to do it, like to the Egyptian thief at point of death, kill what I love? A savage jealousy that sometimes savors nobly. But hear me this, since you to non-regardance cast my faith, and that I partly know the instrument that screws me for my true place in your favor, live you the marble-breasted tyrant still. But this your minion, whom I know you love, and whom, by heaven I swear, I tender dearly, him will I tear out of that cruel eye, where he sits crowned in his master's spite. Come, boy, with me. My thoughts are ripe in mischief. I'll sacrifice the lamb that I do love to spite a raven's heart within a dove. And I, most jocund, apt and willingly, to do you rest, a thousand deaths would die. Jealousy is a green-eyed monster. Where goes Cesario? After him I love, more than I love these eyes, more than my life, more by all mores than e'er I shall love wife. If I do feign, you witnesses above, punish my life for tainting of my love. I me detested! How am I beguiled? Who does beguile you? Who does do you wrong? Hast thou forgot thyself? Is it so long? Call forth the Heavenly Father. Come, away! Whither, my lord? Cesario? Husband? Stay! Husband? I, husband? Can that he deny? Her husband, Sirrah? No, my lord, not I. It is the baseness of thy fear that makes thee strangle thy propriety. Fear not, Cesario. Take thy fortunes up. Be that thou knowst thou art, and then thou art as great as that thou fearst. Father, I charge thee, by thy reverence, here to unfold, though lately we intended to keep in darkness what occasion now reveals before tis ripe, what thou dost know hath newly passed between this youth and me. Contract of eternal bond of love, confirmed by mutual joinder of your hands, attested by the holy close of lips. Strengthened by interchangement of your rings, and all the ceremony of this compact, sealed in my function, by my testimony, since when, my watch hath told me, toward my grave, I have traveled but two hours. Oh, thou dissembling cub! What wilt thou be when time hath so to grizzle on thy case? Or will not else thy craft so quickly grow, that thine own trip shall be thine overthrow? Farewell. 
and take her. But direct thy feet where thou and I henceforth may never meet. My lord, I do protest. Oh, do not swear. Hold little faith, though thou hast too much fear. This has been Dr. Phil. Join us next week as we talk with Hamlet, a young prince who's very moody about his new stepdaddy. Good night!